Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the hyperbola. Let us define first what a hyperbola is. Hyperbola is a set of points on the coordinate plane such that the absolute value of the difference of the distances of any point from the two fixed points is constant. The fixed points are called foci, denoted by f sub 1 and f sub 2. In the illustration, notice that the absolute value of the difference between the distances of two points from f sub 1 and f sub 2 are equal. The graph shows a horizontally oriented hyperbola. When we say horizontally oriented, it means that the hyperbola opens to the right and to the left. Moreover, if it is vertically oriented, then the hyperbola opens upward and downward. The center is the middlemost point of the hyperbola. Vertices of a hyperbola are the endpoints of the transverse axis. Each vertex is a unit away from the center. Covertices of a hyperbola are the endpoints of the conjugate axis. Each vertex is b units away from the center. Foci of a hyperbola are the fixed points of the hyperbola. Each foci is c units away from the center. Directrices are the lines outside the opening of the hyperbola. The equations of the directrices are x equals h plus minus a squared over c or y equals k plus minus a squared over c. Asymptotes are straight lines that form an x that the hyperbola approaches but never touches. The equations of the asymptotes are y minus k equals positive negative b over a quantity x minus h or y minus k equals positive negative a over b quantity x minus h. The lateral recta are the line segments that contain two points on the hyperbola and passes through the foci f sub 1 and f sub 2. An arbitrary rectangle can be drawn by connecting the line segments containing the vertices and the covertices. The diagonal lines of this arbitrary rectangle are the asymptotes of the hyperbola. The equation of the hyperbola is the second-degree polynomial in two variables that are ax squared minus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0 or ay squared minus cx squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0, where a, c, d, e, and f are elements of real numbers. Moreover, the standard forms of the equations with center at the origin are given by x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1 for horizontally oriented hyperbola and y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1 for the vertically oriented hyperbola. Moreover, if the center is at h comma k, then the standard forms of the equations are x minus h quantity squared over a squared minus y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1 for the horizontally oriented hyperbola, while y minus k quantity squared over a squared minus x minus h quantity squared over b squared equals 1 for the vertically oriented hyperbola. Given the equation in standard form, you may easily determine the center of the hyperbola. Also, the distance of the vertices from the center, which is the square root of a squared, and the distance of the covertices from the center, which is the square root of b squared. Moreover, 
Using the values of a squared and b squared, we can find the distance of the foci from the center using the formula c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. Additionally, if your hyperbola is horizontally oriented, then the transverse axis is a horizontal line, and the conjugate axis is a vertical line. On the other hand, if the hyperbola is vertically oriented, then the transverse axis is a vertical line, and the conjugate axis is a horizontal line. Changes in the orientation affect the other elements of the hyperbola like the vertices, covertices, foci, and directrices. And finally, for the horizontally oriented hyperbola, the vertices are on the right and left of the center and the opening of the hyperbola are to the right and to the left. For the vertically oriented hyperbola, the vertices are above and below the center and the opening of the hyperbola are upward and downward. To easily determine if it is horizontally or vertically oriented, look at the positive squared term. If the positive squared term is x, then it is horizontally oriented. Otherwise, it is vertically oriented. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about the hyperbola with center at the origin. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.